Now, the Senate is in receipt of a notice of motion for impeachment of Meru Governor Kawira Mwangaza. This comes as opinion remains varied regarding the, regarding the event of last night that saw Kawira Mwangaza unanimously impeached. George Maringa with the update on the intrigues following the second impeachment of Kawira Mwangaza in under one year. Celebration rocked the precincts of the Meru County Assembly minutes after the MCAs unanimously passed the motion to impeach Meru Governor Kawira Mwangaza. The impeachment by the County Assembly opens the next phase of a path which Kawira has walked before. Just last year, the MCAs impeached Kawira, but she was saved by an 11-member Special Senate Committee on December 30th. The second impeachment has elicited mixed reactions from a section of elected leaders. Cabinet Secretary for Public Service Moses Kuria was the first to express his views on social media platform X, saying that he stands with Kawera while pointing an accusing finger to leaders he did not disclose for allegedly being behind the impeachment. Female colleague gov governors who include Council of Governors Chairperson Kirinyaga Governor Anwe Goro and her Nakuru counterpart Susan Keheka have also expressed their support for Kawira Mwangaza, asking her not to be shaken. At the National Assembly, however, MPs drawn from the Meru region were visibly irked by those in support of the besieged governor, singling out Moses Kuria's post and have trained their guns on him. We ask him to continue staying in the boardroom. Let Meru politics be left to Meru. The president and the deputy president have said they are kept away from the politics of Meru, which Meru is going to handle by itself. So Moses Kuria, we know you want to recruit some memories which are not good for you. Kama unwangia mambo ya kempin, kulinga na support ya wana chairman, iti ya kwamba njitokeze. Sema kingpin nani? Bwana Moses, nakumbuka wakati ambapo ulinena mabaya kutuhusu. Huo ndiyo wakati ambapo ulishushwa. Na pia wakati huu, tunakuona ukielekea nyumbani. This, even as Meru County Speaker Ayub Bundi wrote a notice of motion for impeachment of Kawera Mwangaza to Senate Speaker Amazon Kingi in accordance with the County Government's Act, which stipulates that the communication has to happen within two days. The County Governor will continue to perform her functions pending the outcome of the impeachment process. The Speaker of the Senate will then convene a meeting of the Senate to hear the charges the County Assembly brought against the Governor. If a majority of the county delegations in the Senate vote to uphold the impeachment charge, the governor ceases to hold office. If the delegations vote to reject the impeachment charge, the Senate Speaker shall notify the Speaker of the respective county assembly. Eyes will be on the Senate to see if senators will save Meru Governor Kawera Mwangaza for a second time. George Maringa, TV 47, Nairobi.